Ultra 12. Joseph. Peace be upon. Yusuf. Also starts with an abbreviated letter verse. So, or separated letter, whatever you want to render that as. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim alaf lam ra tilkaya tu kid. Alaf lam ra tilkaya tu kidab el mubin. A L R. These are the verses, the clear book that makes things clear. Or makes things evident. Okay. So, this is not the only passage that make, mentions Yusuf, by the way. I should uh, tell you the other. Is this the other verse? There's another verse in here. Yeah. Sir of 40, verse 34. And indeed, Joseph did come to you in times gone by with clear signs. But ye cease not to doubt in that which he did bring to you, till when he died. You said no messenger will, God is a noun and a verb, send after him. Thus, God in the singular leaves astray him who is... A violator of someone who commits great sins and one who doubts Murtab isn't that the name of a class of demons Com comment in the thing uh, uh, if you know the reference I mean uh, main passing not hit this but anyways in the name of God the compassionate the merciful uh, Aleph, Lam, Ra, these are the signs of the clear book. And why I made that comment of where else it is, because some people believe that Surah Yusuf is the only place in the Quran where you find explicit mention of this prophet. In Arabic Quran, we have sent it down that you may understand it. In a, in revealing to thee this Quran, one of the most beautiful of narratives, will we narrate to thee, of which thou hast hereto been regardless. When Joseph said to his father, O oh my father, verily I beheld eleven stars, and the sun and the moon beheld them, and make obstinance to me. He said, O oh my son, tell not thy vision to thy brethren, lest they plot a plot against thee, for Satan is the manifest foe of man. It is thus that thy Lord shall choose thee, and will teach thee the interpretation of dark sayings, and will perfect his favors on thee, and the family of Jacob, as of old he perfected it on thy fathers, and Abraham, and Isaac. Verily thy Lord is knowing wise. You know, hadith is events, so the interpretation of events um this dark saying part there's something in the new testament i can't think of what it is in the moment but you know so it wasn't just a, all sweetness and light sort of teachers the prophets of god were, were real people you know Of old he perfected on the fathers Abraham and Isaac, verily the Lord is knowing wise. Now in Joseph and his brother uh, brethren are signs for the inquirers, when they said, Surely better loved by our father than we, who are more in number, is Joseph and his brother, verily our father hath clearly erred. Slay ye, Joseph, are drive into some other land, and on you alone shall your father's face be set, and after this shall ye shall live as upright persons one of them said slay not joseph but cast him down in the bottom of the well if ye do so some wayfarers will take him up 
and they said o our father why dost thou not entrust us with joseph indeed we mean him well send him with us to-morrow that he may enjoy himself and sport we will surely keep him safely he said verily your taking him away will grieve me and i fear lest while ye are heedless of him the wolf will devour him they said surely if the wolf devour him and we so many we must in that case be weak indeed and when they went away with him they agreed to place him at the bottom of the well and we revealed to him thou wilt yet tell them of this their deed when they shall not know thee and they came at nightfall to their father weeping they said o oh, our father of a truth we went to the to run races and we left joseph with our clothes and the wolf devoured him but thou wilt not believe us even though we speak the truth and they brought his shirt with false blood upon it he said nay but yourselves have managed this affair but patience is seeming and the help of god is to be implored that i may bear witness what you can tell me and wafers came and sent their drawer of water and he let down his bucket good news said he this is a youth and they kept his case secret to make merchandise of him but god knew what they did and they sold him for a paltry price for some dear hams counted down and at no high rate did they value him and he who bought him an egyptian said to his wife treat him hospitably happily he may be useful to us or we may adopt him as a son thus did we settle joseph in the land and we instructed him in the interpretation of dark sayings for god is equal to his purpose but most men know it not and when he had reached his age of strength we bestowed on him judgment and knowledge for thus do we recompense the well-doers and she in whose house he was conceived a passion for him and she shut the doors and said come hither and he said god keep me verily my lord hath given me a good home and the injurious shall not prosper but she longed for him and he longed and he had longed for her had he not seen a token from his lord thus we averted evil and defilement from him for he was one of our sincere servants and they both made for the door and she rent his shirt behind and at the door they met her lord what said she shall the recompense of him who would do evil in thy family but a prison or a sore punishment she he said she solicited me to evil and a witness of her own family witnessed if his shirt be rent in front she speaketh the truth and he is a liar but if sh his shirt be rent behind she lieth and he is true he is true and when his lord saw his shirt Torn behind, lowercase, you know, different lord. Saw his shirt torn behind, he said, This is one of your devices. Merely your devices are great. Joseph, leave this affair, and thou, O oh wife, ask pardon for thy crime, for thou hast sinned. And, you know, this is one of the things. Um, that uh, regard the testimony of both people, look at the evidence, no matter who it is. You know, one 
you know, your own your own family member says, well, they tried to rape me. And the other person says, well, they tried to rape me. And you're like, well, okay, let's let's look at this situation. And sexual assault against men is more common in this country than sexual assault, period. Everybody was, I mean, a sexual assault against men by women is more common than everything was, you know, 50 years ago. Much, uh, much more common, but uh, prosecution is still relatively rare. Um, does the leave a pair, and uh, that's the fair, and thou ask pardon for thy crime, for thou hast sinned. And it's not the word of, it's not God saying, oh, you women have devices. Well, some women do, but no, it was the word of uh, Potiphar. Is Potiphar the name of the... And in the city the women said, the wife of the prince hath solicited her servant. He hath fixed her with his love, but we certainly see her in manifest error. And when she heard of their cabal, she sent to them, and got ready for a banquet for them, and gave each with them the gave each one of them a knife, and said, Joseph, shew thyself to them. And when they saw him, they were amazed at him, and cut their hands, and said, God, keep us, this is no man, this is no other than a noble angel. One of the things they probably said was, Nefer, you know, beautiful is God, or something like that. I I'm not saying the Egyptian. Nefer, Nefer. She, God keep us, this is no man, this is no other than a noble angel. She said, the, the, this is he about whom ye blamed me. I wished him to yield to my desires, but he stood firm. And if he obey not my command, he shall surely be cast into prison. And what became of the despised? He said, O oh, my lord, I prefer the prison to compliance with their bidding. But unless thou turn away their snares from me, I shall play the youth with them and become one of the unwise now the tributation of the youth youthful folly well once you've hit puberty youthful folly is your fault it's not because you were young but you know he, he had desires too he was a, he was a young man but you know he saw the signs of god he prayed and this is what we should do we should look at the signs of god and we should pray to keep from evil And his Lord heard him and turned away aside their snares from him, for he is the hearer, the knower. Yet resolved they, even after they had seen the signs, you know, at this instance, to imprison him for a while. And there came into the prison with him two youths, said one of them, me thought in my dream that I was pressing grapes, and the other said, I dreamed that I was carrying bread on my head, of which the birds did eat, and declare to us the interpretation of this, for we see thou art a virtuous person. He said, There shall not come to you any food wherewith ye shall be fed, but I will acquaint you with its interpretations ere it come to pass. To you, this is a part of that which my Lord hath taught me, for I have abandoned the religion of those who believe not in God and who deny the life to come. And I follow the religion of my fathers Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. We may not associate aught with God, and this is of God's bounty towards us and towards mankind, but the greater part of mankind are not thankful. Kufr is also ingratitude but our good our our good beliefs even this is the bounty that god has bestowed on us oh my two fellow prisoners our sundry lord's best are god the one the mighty ye worship beside him your names which ye have named ye and your fathers for which god hath not sent down any warranty judgment belongeth to god alone he hath bidden you to worship none but him this is the right faith but most men know it not 
oh my two fellow prisoners as to one of you he will serve wine to his lord but as to the other he will be crucified and the bird shall eat from off his head the manner is decree concerning which ye inquire and crucifixion is a punishment or execution method is something that has been done as far back as we have recorded history and he said unto them who he judged would be set at large remember me with my lord but satan caused him to forget the remembrance of his lord so he remained some years in prison and the king said verily i saw in a dream seven fat kine which seven lean devoured and seven green ears and others withered o nobles teach me my vision if a vision ye are able to expound they said they are confused dreams nor know we aught of the unraveling of dreams and he of the twain who hath been set at large said i will tell you the interpretation let me go of it let me go for it joseph man of truth teach of us of the seven fat kind which the seven lean devoured and of the seven green ears and the other withered that i may return to the men and that they may be informed he said ye shall sow seven years as is your want and the corn which ye reap leave ye in its ear except a little of which ye shall eat then after that shall come seven grievous years which shall eat of which ye have stored for them except a little which ye shall have kept then shall come after this a year in which men shall have rain and in which they shall press the grape and the king said bring him to me and when the messenger came to joseph he said go back to thy lord and ask him what meant the women who cut their hands for my lord well know what the snare would they laid they and said the prince to the women what was your purpose when ye solicited joseph they said god keep us we know not any ill of him the wife of the prince said now doth the truth appear it was i who would have led him into unlawful love and he is one of the truthful unlawful love that's kind of a weird way to say it it was i sought to seduce him to evil okay fine he's one of the truthful by this may my lord know that i did not in his absence play him false and that god guideth not the machinations of deceivers yet i hold not myself clear for the heart is prone to evil save theirs on whom my lord hath mercy for gracious is my lord merciful and when the king said bring him to me i will take him for my special service and when he had spoken with him he said from this day shalt thou be with us invested with place and trust he said set me over the granaries of the land i will be their prudent keeper thus did we establish joseph in the land that he might house himself therein at pleasure we bestow our favors on whom we will and suffer not the reward of the righteous to perish and truly the recompense of the life to come is better for those who have believed and feared god and joseph's brethren came and went into him and he knew them but and joseph and he knew them but they recognized him not 
and when he had provided them with their provisions he said bring me your brother and from your father see ye not that i fill the measure and i am the best of host but if ye bring him not to me then no measure of corn shall be for ye from me nor shall ye come near me no kernels of wheat they said we will ax him of his father and we will surely do it said he to his servants put their money into their camel packs at, that they may perceive it when they have returned to their family happily they will come back to us and when they returned to their father they said oh our father corn is withholden from us send therefore our brother with us and we shall have our measure and all care of him will we take he said shall i entrust with you with him otherwise than as i before entrusted you with his brother but god is the best guardian and of those who shew compassion he is the most compassionate and when they opened their goods they found their money had been returned to them they said o oh, our father what more can we desire here is our money return to us we will provide corn for our families and will take care of our brother and shall receive a camel's burden more of corn this is an easy quantity he said i will not send him with you but on your oath before god that ye will indeed bring him back to me unless hindrances encompass you and when they have given him their pledge he said god is witness of what we say and he said o oh, my sons enter not by one gate but enter by different gates yet i yet can i not help you against aught decreed by god judgment belongeth to god alone in him i put my trust and in him let the trusting trust and when they entered as their father had bidden them it did not avert from them anything decreed of god but it only served to satisfy a desire in the soul of jacob which he had charged them to perform for he was possessed of knowledge which we had taught him but most men have not that knowledge and when they came in to joseph he took his brother to him he said verily i am thy brother be not thou grieved for what they did and when he had provided them with their provisions he placed his drinking cup in his brother's camel pack then a crier cried after them o oh, travellers ye are surely thieves they turned back to them and said what is that ye miss we miss said they the prince's cup for him who shall restore it a camel's load of corn i pledge myself for it they said my god ye know certainly that we came not to do wrong in the land and we have not been thieves what said the egyptians shall be the recompense of him who have stolen it if ye be liars they said that he in whose camel pack it shall be found will be given up to you in satisfaction for it thus recompense we the unjust and joseph began with their sacks before the sack of his brother then from the sack of his brother he drew it out this stratagem did we suggest to joseph by the king's law he by the king's law he had no power to seize his brother had not god pleased we uplift into grades whom we will and there is one knowing above every one else endued with knowledge and it's narrated that this cup was a scrying cup 
Now let's not confuse this with the scrying that involves Seher, but this was this, you know, his meditation vessel, according to some references. They said, if he steal, a brother of his hath stolen heretofore. If he steal a brother of his hath stolen heretofore, when Joseph kept his secret, and he did not discover it to them, said he, Ye are in the worst condition, and God well knoweth what ye state. They said, O oh, prince, verily he hath a very aged father in his stead. Therefore take one of us, for we see that thou art a generous person. He said, and God forbid that we should take a but him with whom our property was found, for then should we act unjustly, and when they despaired of Benjamin, they went apart for counsel. The eldest of them said, Know ye not how that your father hath taken a pledge from you before God, and how formerly ye failed in duty with regard to Joseph. I will not quit the land till my father give me leave. Our God decide for me, for of those who decide is he the best. Return ye to your father and say, O oh, our father, verily thy son hath stolen, that we bear witness only of what we know. We could not guard against unforeseen. Inquire for thyselves in the city where we have been, and of the caravan with which we have arrived, and we are surely speakers of the truth. He said, he said, May ye have arranged all this among yourselves, but patience is seemly, God may be, will bring him back to me together, for he is the knowing, the wise. And he turned away from them and said, Oh, how I am grieved for Joseph, and his eyes became white with grief, for he bore a silent sorrow. They said, My God, thou wilt only cease to think of Joseph. Joseph, when thou art at the point of death, are then. He said, I plead my grief and my sorrow to God, but I know from God what ye know not. Go, my sons, and seek tidings of Joseph and his brother, and despair not of God's mercy, for none but the unbelieving despair the mercy of God. And when they come came into Joseph, they said, O oh, prince, distress hath reached us and our family, and little is the money that we have brought, but give us full measure and bestow it as alms, for God will recompense the almsgivers, he said, Know ye what ye did to Joseph and his brother in your ignorance, they said. Canst thou indeed be Joseph? He said, I am Joseph, and this is my brother. Now hath God been gracious to us, for whoso feareth God and endureth, God will verily, God verily will not suffer the reward of the righteous to perish. They said, By God, now hath God chosen thee above us, and we have indeed been sinners. He said, No blame on you this day. God will forgive you. For he is the most merciful of those who show mercy. Kala. La ta three ba le kum yum ma yang viru la o la kum wa u wal arham rahim rahim. He said, Kala, he said. No reproach on you this day, may Allah forgive you, and he is the most merciful of those who show mercy. And so for those who did not set up to be continual enemies after the conquest of Mecca, this is what Prophet Muhammad said to them. 
Go ye with this my shirt, and throw it on my father's face, and he shall recover his sight, and bring me all your family. There's actually a chemical in sweat that can be used as a cure for blindness. And when the caravan was departed, and their father said, I shall surely perceive this, I surely perceive the smell of Joseph. I think ye that think ye that I dote, they send by God is thy old mistake. They're 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 still playing games with their father, huh? Oh no! Uh, 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 oh come on, a wolf won't get us. Oh yeah, a wolf got him. And here's the bloody shirt. He took off his shirt. Yeah, well, uh, he ran pretty fast. I, I don't know how they explained that one, but anyways. I surely perceive the smell of Joseph, think ye that I dote. They said, My God, it is thy old mistake. And when the bearer of good tidings came, he cast it on his face, and Jacob's eyesight ret returned. I'm not practice trying to sing all this, by the way. They then he said, Did I not tell you that I knew from God what ye knew not? They said, Our father acts pardon for our crimes for us, for we have indeed been sinners. He said, I will ask pardon of God, I will ask pardon of my Lord, for he is the gracious, the merciful. And when they came to Joseph, he ta he took When they came into Joseph, he took his parents to him and said, Enter ye Egypt, if God will secure. Coming to visit somebody and he came, came into, is that's a, that's, that's a weird way to say it, but I guess a hundred something years ago. And he raised his, Enter Egypt, if God will secure. And he raised his parents to the seat of state, and they fell down, bowing themselves unto him. Then said he, O oh, my father, this is the meaning of my dream of old. My Lord hath now made it true, and he hath surely been gracious to me, since he took me forth from the prison, and hath brought it, hath brought ye up out of the desert after that satan had stirred up strife between me and my brethren for god is gracious to whom he will for he is knowing the lies and bowing and prostrating in this current sharia umati muhammad we don't bow and prostrate because that's mistaken as worship but back in the day things were different O oh, my Lord, thou hast given me domitian, and hast taught me to expound dark sayings, maker of the heavens and of the earth, my guardian art, thou in this world and in the next, cause thou me to die as Muslim, as a Muslim, and join me with the just, has taught me to expound occult sayings. To expound on the occult might be a way to say that. Occult sense, yeah. And join me with the just. This is one of the secret histories which we reveal unto thee. Thou wast not present with Joseph's brethren when they conceived their design and laid their plot. But the greater part of men, though long for it, will not believe. Thou shalt not ask of them any recompense for this message. It is simply an instruction for all mankind. And many as are the signs in the heavens and on the earth, yet they will will pass them by and turn aside from them and most of them believe not in god without also joining other deities with him what are they sure that the overwhelming chastisement of god shall not come upon them or that the hour shall not come upon them suddenly while they are unaware say this is my way resting on a clear proof i call 